Yo, welcome back. Guys, today is the second day of us working on the E36 PTG race kit. But today is all about finesse. So we're gonna try to reinstall the hood, but we also have a few things that I wanna install on the hood, including uh, which are these M3 style vents. Um, comes with four pieces, but I don't think we're gonna run the center ones. I mean, they're not even functional vents. We could make them functional, just cut slits. But yeah, that's today's plan. We've got Larry helping out. Thanks, homie. <laughs> so uh, I'm thinking maybe we should have put the hood on before we installed the kit, but uh, I'm kind of judging by the body lines like this. Kind of lines up with it. Also, it's pretty even on both sides. Like I'm trying to line it up with uh, OEM frame. And then maybe later we might actually start cutting the vents, but Today is mainly finessing the front and we'll start working on the sides too. Crudely mocked up the side skirt and I'm looking at it now. I think I installed the front fender piece a little too far inwards because it should actually line up with the side skirt and it isn't. <laughs> That's not bad, guys. <laughs> Haven't really pushed on the hood, but as you can see, using that OEM frame lines the front bumper up perfectly with the hood. But I have a feeling it's just the fenders gotta be pushed out on the bottom a little bit further this way. And maybe up too, cause this doesn't line up with this, so. Okay. Nice. Okay. <laughs> All right, homie. Moment of truth. I'm gonna slowly put that down a little bit. <laughs> Did it come out? It was just the rubber liner. Yep. Should I just let yeah. it lock or do it up? It? Good enough, man. Yo, we did good. That'll close. Yeah. And it's that's not really hit tight. It yeah. At all. Dude, good job. <laughs> all I'm, you really I'm actually pretty proud, okay? <laughs> Perfect. We got a little eyebrow to hide our imperfections. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sick. Yo. <laughs> mean. That actually completes it so much more. <laughs> All right. So, take these vents and uh, actually think. But then uh, th this is why I asked for that black tar stuff is because I see them like cut this exact shape out and then they glue it from the inside. And then, yeah, so it looks super clean. Literally, this is the only thing sticking out. And now we're just trying to figure out the placement of the hood vents. Uh, and we're just judging re by the references off of Google. Um, but also, we're gonna be installing hood pins on this, so uh, I wanna make sure it's not interfering. And then, uh, now I'm looking at this, like, uh, actually, Larry gave me a good idea. I didn't want to rock the middle center pieces, these guys, because I just think it looks a little more tasteful. So we may just like reappropriate these, bend them, and then use them as uh, side vents for the fenders. <laughs> Make it look even more aggressive. That. Look at that. And it's still uh, perpendicular with these lines. That's not a bad idea, man. For the M3 vents, don't actually know exactly how far they're supposed to sit from the front of the hood, but I like where they're placed right here right now. Looks good to me. First hole cut, let's test her out. There's a bar on the bottom that the side is hitting. No way, really? Yeah. Dude, put it on the other side. 
butter. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. Okay. All we have to do is copy that to the other side. And I'm okay with that. You know what? Because we like, you know, I want to still be able to take these off. Uh, that way we can wrap it like cleanly underneath and stuff. So yeah, not bad. This part is actually pretty heavy, man. This is weight reduction. Jesse helping me curve the side vent parts. See if this works. And that'll be going on this side. <laughs> It'll even out once you like bolt it on. Yeah, but... exactly. Crazy. Dude, Jesse made light work of that. Quickly came over here and took him like three minutes to bend these into shape. So basically what we did was we inverted and turned around the M3 vents or the inner parts of the M3 vents. So it's more fin-like. And uh, what we were saying was it probably be a lot cleaner if I just cut the silhouette. So we stick it in from underneath and then only these fins will be sticking out. Just keep that there for a bit. Beautiful. We're just gonna be re amming it for now, hold it in place. Kinda wanted this to be underneath so that uh, the border isn't showing, but you know what, this is okay. I kinda like, like the bolt-on look. <laughs> so I'll be adding some bolts onto this with nut certs. Both sides are on and functional. Now we can move on to the hood pins. This is what I got. Got this from Japan. One of my many souvenirs from Up Garage. And should be fairly easy. It really depends on how you want the orientation. Some people like it like that, or like that, or like this, like this. But me, probably something like that. Like that? We'll look at some Google images. So for the hood latches, we're just gonna use OEM holes that are already on the frame of the car. Make it easier on us, find, so that we don't have to find both sides. Uh, we'll just have to make these bigger. Here's everything that this came with. So you got the key, two pegs, and the actual latches, and all of the hardware. Just make this hole big enough to fit this peg. Perfect. Fill the holes. I'm basically following Mighty Car Mod's guide. Um, we're gonna be using the toothpaste technique. So depending on where you want the lash to go, it's best to just position it now. Kinda want my hood latches to be angled like this. So that means the hole is facing that way. Now just bring your hood down. Boom. So once that's through, you can kind of position the latch and then get a better idea of what it's gonna look like from the top and how you want it angled. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get one side down first. That way I can have a template of this side and then we can just mimic that on the other side. Hey, way better. I could click that in, but I ain't gonna.
why this side took so long is because we actually had to go through two layers, which starts where we're putting the latches. So we're just gonna cut this out, copy that onto this side and make it easier for us. Didn't really get a chance to end today's video, so I'm gonna do that now. Appreciate you guys for watching as always. Who dat? Come here, homie. Come. I got something for you. Hee <laughs> hee. Good boy. Before I end the video, a little selfless self-promotion. Oh. Bye, Gohan. Due to popular demand, we just restocked on a whole bunch of Demon Slayer stickers, plus restocked on all of the key tags as well. So cop some KMR gear and check out our collection at kingsmasterraz.com. And special surprise, I think next couple of days here, Derpy, aka Simon, is actually going to be stopping by Calgary to help one of our friends uh, do something to their car. So you guys are going to want to stay tuned for that too. That's it. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.